What's going on everybody? In today's video we're going to talk about my fiber laser from HALTN and how I went from this to this. We'll get into it right after this. Hey, thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing and smashing that like button below. Leave me a comment after the video. I love hearing what people have to say and share this content. Well, anyway, in today's video, we're all about, it's all about the fiber laser. And ever since I've had this laser, I've been trying to get my business cards dialed in. I've got some shiny or some glossy, thick, heavy-duty black business cards that I got off of Amazon, referred to me by a friend. They have been working out amazingly well. But I couldn't get my settings right. And recently I was on a live stream with uh, uh, HTL Custom, Jeremy, Patrick with Light Source Engraving, and Billy Hobby Guy Rich. And they all three had this Chucky file that I sent them. And they were banging it out and it was coming out perfect. But every time I tried, it was coming out like this. I couldn't seem to get it right. And Patrick said, hey, your timing might be off on your fiber laser. So he referred me to uh, Maker Theory. I'll have a link below in the description. Geo's uh, YouTube channel where he goes over how to set your timing on your fiber laser. And I watched his video. I reset a few things. I got it much better than it was. It may not be perfect, but it much better. And then as soon as I got all that done after watching his video, I went and tried Chucky again. And he came out amazing. So it's like, wow, really cool. I thanked him. I was talking to him over on Discord. And yeah, that's just an amazing video lifesaver. And it's with any fiber laser, if two people can have the same identical fiber laser from the same company, using the same pile, the same business cards, have totally different results. That's why most people don't get out there and they post all their settings 100% on Facebook posts and such. It's because everything is different. But then there's a lot of people like me that buy a fiber laser they have absolutely no idea where to start. So they get a hold of their friends, they look online, they read groups, they watch videos, and it will get them in the ballpark. And that's what this video is about today. I'm going to show you the amazing content that I've done with this fiber laser. This is all done in one day. I burned up a bunch of stuff, made a bunch of business cards, and I wanted to share it with you, my results. I think they look amazing. And right after I show you all that, I'm going to jump, I'll jump into Lightburn on my computer and I'll show you the settings for one of my cards that I say that I've done each one of these. I'll show you the settings and hey, maybe it'll get you close. Are they perfect settings? No. Can I refine them and get them better? Probably. But at the moment, they seem to be working very well and maybe they can help you out too. So let's jump into these time lapses here. I'm not sure if I'm going to time lapse or show them in real time, but I'll show you all these and then I'll show you the results and then, you know, see what you think. So here we go. In the city where dreams come alive Las Vegas lights shining so bright We're getting high on technology No surprise 3 DHP We're taking flight From the glittering casinos To the desert sun We're making magic With the things we've done Laser engraved Casinos to the desert sun We're making magic with the things we've done Laser engraving, resin gray Laser engraving, carving the way Resin painting, painting our own Painting our own play Vegas nights, a 3D delight We're pushing limits, reaching new heights 
In the city where dreams come alive Las Vegas lights shining so bright We're getting high on technology No surprise, free DHP We're taking flight Okay, let me show you some of my settings here in Lightburn. This particular picture came with Shark, came from Shark with Lasers. You can find them there on, you can find their Patreon down below. I'll have a link, and they're also over on Facebook. This is one of their free files, and I'm also a member of their Patreon. And let me show you some of my settings that I have here. Now, as mentioned before, a couple of my friends gave me recommended settings to kind of get me close. But every time I tried to engrave a black business card, it was coming out very dark and you couldn't see the image. So then my friend Patrick with Light Source Engraving referred me to Maker Theory, a YouTube channel that Geo has done a video and it shows you how to set up your timing on your fiber laser. He shows it for, uh, and he goes through it and explains how to set up your timing. By following his video, I got a lot closer. I might not have it perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was when I first started. And let me show you my settings here. Now I'm on my green layer. I'm calling it black business cards, and that way it'll just save it. So whenever I want to do a black business card, I pull up the green green layer, and then I can drop a picture in. Now these might not be exact settings for me. They may not be perfect, but they're working pretty damn good. And as people will tell you, when you have a fiber laser, even if two people have the identical same fiber laser working with the same file and the same material, their results will vary and they will come out differently. That's why a lot of people don't recommend settings. Uh, you know, the, here, this will work for you. Now, these settings may not work for you, but if you're new to fiber lasers, if you possibly have a Haltian 60 watt JPT MOPA fiber laser called, like I have, I'm using my smallest lens, these settings might get you a lot closer. It'll give you a starting point, because a lot of people simply want to know, well, I don't know how, know how to set anything up. So this might help you out. It might give you a starting point. It might get you closer, but just take a look at what I have here. And, you know, it might help, might help you out. Be sure to refer to your paperwork that came with your fiber laser regarding your, um, your frequency and your Q-pulse, Q what you have it set at, and your line intervals. And uh, I got this set on Atkinson. And, yeah, just kind of take a look at this. Stop the video if you want. Write some of this down. Maybe this, maybe this might help you get closer if you're working with a 60-watt JPT MOPA fiber laser. You know, it may not be perfect, but maybe it'll get you, go, get you going in the right direction. And then you can tweak from there. But this is what works for me. And like I say, I saved it on the green layer. And it's working out real good so far. So let me show you some other pictures I got. But like I say, there'll be a link down below to Light Source Engraving with Patrick and Jeremy with HTL Customs. He has helped me out quite a bit. And uh, to Maker Theory, Geo, his video. You can also find uh, him them on uh, Discord on their different Discord channels, but, you know, hopefully this will kind of help you out and get, steer you in the right direction. But let me get on to uh, showing you uh, all the amazing things that I've got done here with this. Okay, let me show you how they all came out. Let's start off with my doggies here. Now this one I probably should have went right-clicked on the image to adjust image. Changed a little bit, came out a little bit white, but hopefully that's in focus. That's Nikita on the left, or excuse me, Sandy on the left and Nikita on the right. My two girls. As a matter of fact, she's on the floor and she just wagged her tail and she heard my name. Now here's what happened with Chucky. Before I tried to change my timing or do anything, this is how this image was coming out. Really black, and that was just horrible. And after readjusting my timing, and getting some recommended settings for my friends. There's Chucky now. Came out amazing. There's the child. Little baby Yoda. We got Stormtrooper here. When I readjusted the size, it stretched it a little bit, but. It came out amazing. And here we have a Death Star. It's beautiful. Here's a Ninja Girl. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Now all these images here, they were random things I either found on the net, um, just random images. Some of them came from Sharks with Lasers. They have free files and I'm also on their Patreon, where some of them they are on the Patreon tier. This came from laserpix.com. Came out beautiful. I just love this picture. And here's a Wonder Woman. I don't know what you guys think. I think that's beautiful. Now whether I can make that any better, I'm not really sure. I think it's just beautiful the way that it is. But you never know. Settings can always be tweaked. Things can always get better. And other than how you seen I had them in Lightburn with the settings that I showed you, these aren't prepared images in any way. I haven't changed anything on them to modify them. I just resized them. Use the settings that I'll show you here on the screen here in just a minute. Or either, I'm not sure if I already showed you the settings or not, but yeah, came out beautiful. Amazing. And these business cards, you know, the very thick, heavy duty. I'll have a link down below where you can pick them up on Amazon. It's wonderful. So yeah, all these images came out perfect. I'm very happy with my Houtian 60 watt G GPT JPT uh, Mopa fiber laser. It's doing a beautiful job. And if you contact Pascal Lou, he will give you an awesome deal on any of their laser products. They have other things than just fiber lasers. They have different types of lasers. Just mentioned Jerry with 3D HP. You seen my video, and I referred you, and he will hook you up with an awesome deal. So, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. Can't wait to see what I do next. Uh, very happy. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you to all my channel members here on YouTube. But you'll have all their names here on the screen. Thank you, Patrick with Light Source Engraving. Jeremy with HTL Customs. Rich the LA Hobby Guy. Thank you, everybody. It's helped me out on my journey. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Check out Sharks with Lasers. I'll have a link below in the descriptions. Check out laserpicks.com where you can find a lot of files. And then, you know, like I say, if you get a fiber laser and you're not sure where to start or what to do, maybe these settings that I'll show you here on the screen, they can help you out. Um, join Facebook groups. Watch lots of YouTube videos. Talk to friends. Get a pen and paper. Take notes. Eventually, you'll get it all figured out. It's a, you know, quite a learning curve on a fiber laser to learn a lot of things. But once you get there, it's just beautiful. So, and I may not be there yet, but I, you know, you never stop learning. And I wish each and every one of you a wonderful day and happy laser engraving. Later.